Are you staying hydrated? Yes, I am. Oh, I heard oh, they a cannon. <laughs> you gotta be careful around here. Somebody shoot a cannon at you. Good old St. Augustine. We are cruising around right now, trying to mark up some shrimp. Usually I can mark them on my bottom machine. I got some intel that there's shrimp in the area. I think I'm a little bit late to the show, but uh, hoping we can get enough for dinner tonight. If I don't mark any here soon, I'm just gonna start and do some uh, some blind casting, see what I can't find. So a little recap of our day so far. We went and tried to find the shrimp and they weren't where we thought they'd be, but that's how it goes. We've gone and dropped some of our stone crab traps, which uh, we'll pull on Tuesday. So we'll do a 48 hour soak and tide's a little high. We're waiting for it to go out. We might fish some more. We don't know, but this is just a regular Sunday afternoon for us. This is the kind of stuff we do. This is our life. And I'm trying to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, right now, we're on a little island, just exploring, looking for shells and whatever kind of treasures we might find. It is mullet's favorite thing in the world. Mullet, come on. Hey, bub, come here. He just loves being out here. He can run around free, do what he wants, and uh, we enjoy it too. Crystal, what you got? Some treasure? Oyster shells. Those are some pretty ones. Mm -hmm. that one's you gonna make some art with those? Uh huh. What are you gonna do with them? Add them to my grotto. <laughs> yeah. She. I don't know. <laughs> there, there's piles of things that we've brought home, and we don't know what we're gonna do with them yet. It doesn't matter. But they're treasures. They're treasures. So I'll bring you bring guys up to speed in the next update of how our day is going. Maybe we'll catch some fish or something. Maybe we'll just go home. I don't know. I think the boat started floating away. Crystal got it. Tide's coming up super high. This is what you call a flood tide. What, what happened? The boat run away? I hate when that happens. No, the tide come up. It wasn't my fault. It's never my fault. So, for you guys, those of you guys who don't know, we live in St. Augustine, Florida. I know I got a lot of new followers, um, but we have a fort here. It's an old Spanish fort. I think it was built in like the 1700s. I should probably know the answer to that since I live here, but uh, we don't. We live in a beautiful place. Um, got the inlet out there, all these sailboats anchored up. I imagine those guys are headed south for the winter and got a beautiful downtown even though we don't go down there much i'm not a big fan of crowds and it's touristy but it is uh pretty to ride by and check it out from the water Like that. 
hope you're doing good. Look at this guy. Sleeping on the job. Yep. That should be them. 11, 12 feet. Ready? That should be them. Give it a throw. Let that net sink to the bottom. Let that tape do its work. Then pop it like that. Tuck that net. I can feel them. Can you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Wintertime shrimping. We catch them year round. They're a good size, too. These are white shrimp. Oh, yeah. Loaded again. Nice. Look at that. Oh, you got a little uh, fish in there, too. Nice. Smoking them. They're going to be super good. I want some bang bang shrimp and I want some shrimp and corn chowder. Folks, that's two throws of the cast net. Nice. Uh, this is a custom made net made by Ed Shoemaker, Daytona Beach. If you want one, I think you can look them up on uh, the internet. But. We only need a couple of more throws that are that good. And we'll have more than enough for dinner. Look at that one running. And we'll cull out the smaller shrimp and we'll save those for bait. Oh yeah. You know when they're in the horn like that, you load it up. They're such a good size though. All right, watch out. Let me swing the net that way. about that folks at home trying to keep you the wind <laughs> i don't know if y'all could hear me i need to get some sort of fancy something for filming in the wind. look at that knot of shrimp right there oh yeah all right so that is our original mark and these are all the shrimp on the bottom. It's 11 and a half feet, and that's what you're looking for. You marking them good? Go ahead. Wind is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna blow away. <laughs> crazy. I can feel so many in there. Oh, really? Yeah. There was a big mess of them. Look, Look at them up. popping on the water. That's how you know you're on them. I, I we, knew. There's I think we birds. just smoked them right here. All the birds. Oh man, I can tell there's a bunch in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot those pogies is what I was feeling. Oh. But we got a ton of shrimp too. See those all? are big pogies. Crab bait. Man, this is just epic shrimping. Those are the biggest pogies I think I've ever seen. Oh, they're pretty average size. I don't know. Maybe they were just little this summer. All right, here we go. Make it rain. <laughs> Got your uh, shrimp picker up 1,000 here. <laughs> Not you. You're the deckhand. That's the shrimp picker up 1,000. <laughs> That's the mullet. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't. He just rides. But man, what do we throw? Six times? Yeah. Total? These are some really nice white shrimp right here. Really close to the inlet. They're gonna taste good. I'm already thinking about all the crazy stuff I'm gonna make with them. I don't know. I said bang bang shrimp, but now I'm thinking about like barbecue shrimp, like New Orleans style. Oh, that'd be good. But look at them bad boys. You know I love my shrimping. Can we wrap them in bacon? Making it out just in time. Here comes the rain. All right, we back home. We're tired. Now, I only threw the net six times total. Let's see what we got. 
That ain't bad. What we're gonna do more in there is call these shrimp out. So there's some nice ones in there, and then there's some that are like bait size. So you know, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. But what we're gonna do is work through these things, and I'm gonna separate out two piles. The smaller ones, you know, like that. I'm gonna save that, freeze it, and use it for bait. And the nicer shrimp, like these ones, we're gonna cook. So. Crab bait. Yeah, crab bait, crab bait. Oh, look at these things are super red-legged. Now, I'm not a biologist, but I've always been told when they're red-legged like that, it means they're headed back out to the ocean. Um, also, I think I already showed you guys this, but look at those beautiful blue tails on the white shrimp. They're like fluorescent and iridescent. It's like art, you know? You find pretty things in odd places in nature, that is. And, you know, sometimes other ways too. But let's start calling these out. So, actually, now I'm looking at them. They're a lot nicer mm -hmm. than I thought. But you just got to kind of go through and pick as you go. And we'll make two piles. The shrimp we're going to eat will head up tonight. And look at that, that's a nice shrimp. Mm -hmm. And the shrimp that we're going to use for bait, I'll just put in my bait freezer. So we got work to do. Good morning, y'all. It is 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we got in last night from uh, being on the boat, catching them shrimp and by the time we headed them all up and cleaned the boat, we were tired. And me and Crystal went out and got some sushi. But uh, the girls are at school and I'm sitting here thinking about what I want for breakfast. And of course, I've got a bunch of fresh shrimp in the uh, fridge and I was sitting here thinking about it. I decided I'm gonna make some shrimp and grits. I'm gonna try and self film it for you guys. Um, but, you know, I just looked through the pantry and I wanted to go ahead and just make something with what I had on hand without making a special trip to the store and just show you guys, you know, real life stuff. Uh, not, you know, fronting for YouTube or making something special. Anyways, so I'm peeling up some shrimp and I want to show you guys a really good way to peel shrimp with just a fork. These shrimp aren't the biggest shrimp in the world, you know, after the heads off, I'd say those are small to medium. Um, but you take your shrimp, take your fork, take one tine of that fork, just like that, and slide him sideways like that, just under the shell, all the way down, just like that, right? Then take, take the shrimp, and just push it through and all the shell stays on the fork and there's your shrimp and it's already de-veined and split and butterflied down the back like so then you can take your shell save that for stock or something or throw it away makes a good fish chum but I'll show you one fast now so just come down like that push like that and you can burn through some shrimp pretty quick, y'all. But, on to the shrimp and grits. Let's talk ingredients. <clears throat> like I said, I just wanted to make this, make something for breakfast off of what I had in the house. And, you know, breakfast, grits, look through the pantry, add some quick grits. In a perfect world, I'd probably use uh, grits that weren't quick grits, but I'm just working with what I got. I have a little bit of chicken stock left over from the squirrel tacos. A little bit of half and half uh, left over from Thanksgiving and coffee. Uh, I found half a red onion. We always got garlic on hand. Some mushrooms. I don't know if I'm going to put them in there yet or not. 
a uh, little bit of blackening seasoning. Bacon. I wouldn't skip this. Bacon's definitely a must for your breakfast uh, shrimp and grits and some green onions. Uh, and of course, we have our beautiful St. John's County shrimp that we caught yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff prepped up. Now, if you're cooking at home or if you're learning to cook or even if you know how to cook, one tip I always give everybody, before you start cooking, assemble all your ingredients. Uh, chop your onion, chop your garlic, chop your stuff, have it all set out and ready to go as you're cooking. And it'll just make it go smoother and you'll find that your cooking improves because you're not scrambling for something and then burning the other thing and this and that and just have it all ready to go. Oh, I'm just looking right here right now and I think I'm gonna add some lime juice, fresh squeeze to this. you could see me good I've got a small saucepan going and I'm gonna go in with 50% milk and 50% uh, chicken stock for the grit well that that pot was hot we'll bring that up to a boil and while that's getting started we're gonna render down three strips of bacon that I've cut in small pieces you know there's not many things bacon doesn't make better and I really like to cook using bacon fat um you know some people might turn their nose at that but uh pork fat's king and it makes everything really good and really as long as you're not eating too much of it it's not that unhealthy now I know there are going to be a bunch of people say Ian well look at that big belly you got that's because you eat all that bacon and you ain't wrong Bacon's frying. My milk and chicken stock has come to a boil. I'm gonna go in and add my grits. When you put them grits in, start stirring them, y'all. And you gotta be careful, that milk will uh, boil over quick on you, real quick. These are quick grits, so they're only gonna take five minutes. Get them stirred in, put it down to low. I did forget to mention, I found some shredded cheddar cheese in the fridge. That's definitely going in the grits. Stir our bacon around here. I've got the bacon on medium heat because I want to render that fat out of it. Okay, my bacon's rendered down. It's almost crispy. I'm gonna go in with my onion. Just like that. And I'm gonna go in, I did decide to go ahead and put a couple of mushrooms in there. I think they call that the umami flavor. I don't know what that means, but they're, they're right. It tastes good. And we're just gonna cook those onions down till they're clear. Maybe just a little bit caramelized. Also too, what's happening right now is all that flavor that's on the bottom of this pan is releasing as those mushrooms and onions release their liquid. And we're scraping that bottom and getting all that good flavor. The grits still going here, still stirring. They're almost done, nice and creamy. And, you know, I could have just used water in the grits and it would have been okay. I eat grits like that. But if you use chicken stock and milk or cream, it really kicks the level of those grits up and makes them savory. I think there may not be any better smell in the world than the smell of onions frying 
in bacon fat. It's just amazing. Drop a comment if you agree. So my grits are done. My onion is just starting to caramelize. I'm gonna go in with that garlic. Stir that around and let it get fragrant. Fragrant? What? Fragrant? Fragrant? Fragrant. Got that going. Then my grits. I'm going to add a little bit of that cheddar cheese. And of course I'm gonna do a knob of butter because butter makes everything good. A pinch of salt, just like that. And we'll stir that around, let that cheese start to melt. My garlic's got fragrant. I'm going to push my bacon and onion mixture to the side like so tilt the pan and let some of that fat run down like that going with my shrimp these are going to cook extremely fast spread them out evenly and let them go All them grits look good. Shrimp, shrimp are cooking. We're gonna bump that temperature up. Smells amazing, y'all. Okay, my shrimp are just about done. We're gonna mix everything back together like so. I'm gonna turn that heat off. Don't overcook those shrimp. I'm gonna hit this with just a touch of half and half, like so, make a nice little sauce in there. And I thought of this last minute, I'm gonna put a pinch of Parmesan cheese in this, just like that. Stir that around, let my uh, little mini sauce get thick. All that goodness off the bottom of the pan all that blackening seasoning and bacon, onions, garlic. I bet I could just eat this without the grits and it would be delicious. All right, let's plate. So, we're gonna do a bowl. Go into our bowl with some grits like so. Then we're gonna take some of our beautiful creamy shrimp and grits mixture. Go right on top with that, like so. Then we're just, since we fancy, finish it off with a little bit of uh, onion tops there. Look how amazing, y'all. I'm gonna sit down and eat, but Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said a couple of times, this is just how we live our life. You know, um, this is stuff that we are cooking or I'm cooking, um, stuff that we're catching and eating uh, every day. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope you uh, like and share and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.